Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. I'm celebrating Bourbon Month on my channel in March 2019. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a book review as well as a review of the Elijah Craig uh, Small Batch Barrel Proof, uh, batch number C917. Uh, the book is Bourbon, The Rise, Fall, and Rebirth of an American Whiskey by Fred Minnick. This is an absolutely spectacular book. Um, I know you can get a lot of uh, information online um, about bourbon and whiskeys in general and regions and producers and all that, um, but I'm very much of a book lover and I like a book that's well-written, well, -written, real, uh, researched, a lot of footnotes, a lot of photographs, as well as I really beautifully presented. This is an absolutely beautiful book that you'll not only want to read and learn from about the history, production, uh, politics of a bourbon uh, here in the United States, uh, but it's a beautiful book to put on your coffee table or perhaps on your desk at work, someplace where it can be on display. And maybe you don't read it, you know, from cover to cover all at once, uh, but whenever you're in the mood, maybe kicking back by the fire, enjoying a, a bourbon, and just reading another chapter. It is just an absolutely uh, delight uh, to read. Highly recommend it. Uh, if you're gonna buy just one book on bourbon, this would probably uh, be it. Alrighty, now let's get into Elijah Craig uh, Barrel Proof. So I've reviewed the Elijah Craig, you know, the sort of uh, normal ABV, the non-age statement. You know, they had a 12 year, then they went to the non-age statement. And then when I was at the uh, Scotch Test uh, Dummies fifth anniversary, I, I got to taste for the first time uh, uh, a dram of the small batch and really fell in love with it so that when I came back home, I went on the hunt and immediately found one. Uh, one of the great things about this is it's not super expensive. Um, in some states here in the United States, you can get this as low as $50. I think I paid in the high 60s for this plus tax. Uh, on rare occasions, I've seen this for over $100. Um, but I wouldn't go that far. It's still readily enough available that you should be able to get for under $75. It's probably one of the highest quality price ratio bourbons on the market. It's really tough to beat. All right, before I get into this, uh, here are my notes on this bourbon. In 2017, the Elijah Craig brand completed the fifth year of its tradition of triannually releasing separate batches of uncut 12-year-old bourbon. Released three times per year under alphanumeric tracking code, 2017's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Bourbon series included A117, B517, and most recently the C917, which I am reviewing in this video. The letter C indicates that this was the third release of the year. 9 indicates that it was released in the ninth month of the year, September, and 17 marks the release of the year, 2017. Since Heaven Hill Distillery made the controversial decision to drop the age statement from its firmly signature Elijah Craig 12-year-old and begin blending 8-12-year-old to 12 -year -old batches together, the barrel-proof bottlings seem to have filled in as Elijah Craig's mid-level offering. The previous two batches were especially highly regarded by Whiskey Advocate, with B517 earning Whiskey of the Year 2017. Each barrel proof bottle is 12 years old, obviously uncut, and bottled straight from the barrel. Each batch is unique and will come in at a different proof than others, 131 proof in the case of C917. The whiskey has a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye and 12% malted barley. Uh, this bourbon is bottled again at 131 proof or 65.5% alcohol by volume. So I also tasted this now that I recall, I, I visited Heaven Hill Distillery where this is from uh, during my uh, 2016 uh, trip to uh, Kentucky. It was actually the last distillery that I got to visit. Heaven Hill is sort of a family a distillery that's sort of uh, the home of a number of different uh, bourbon brands. Uh, Color-wise, sort of a standard bourbon color, uh, sort of amber, uh, copper, with a slight red tinge color to it on the nose. Medium plus intense aromas of uh, caramel. There's a distinctive spice to it. Butterscotch. There's a slight cherry note. 
caramel corn, vanilla, cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, a lot of cinnamon, some uh, fresh oak, some um, uh, vanilla wafers, or so. Uh, you think of like vanilla wafers or banana pudding, where you have uh, uh, vanilla pudding with bananas and uh, and then uh, vanilla wafers on top. My mom used to make that when I was a kid. I get a little bit of that in here. One more. Mm. I right, was in some ways. A lot of the aromas and flavors on it, you might think of as typical bourbon aromas, right? But the differences between this whiskey and so many others is, yeah, it has, you know, apple pie and cinnamon and, and nutmeg and, and a lot of vanilla, caramel, maybe a little bit of butterscotch, um, as well as, uh, uh, sort of vanilla wafer character that I was talking about uh, earlier, or banana pudding kind of character to it. It's the texture, it's the development. Um, it is silky, it glides across your palate, it has a nice evolution um, and a super long finish. Uh, it starts off with that sort of the cherry pie character up front, then you get the apples, the apple cinnamon, maybe a little bit of uh, peach cobbler, and then the nice cinnamon, vanilla, caramels, a, a, a hint of I'm almost like a candied pecan on the back end, an absolutely spectacular uh, bourbon. This actually made my top 10 uh, for 2018, and I'm just now getting around to uh, reviewing it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. That is going to be hard to beat in a bourbon competition. Absolutely spectacular. All right, what would I give for score? I'm going to go 94 points. I think this is phenomenal. Although in celebrating bourbon month, I'll be tasting a whole lot of absolutely spectacular bourbons. May do a uh, blind uh, competition at the end of the month. We'll see, see how that goes. All right, if you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, you like watching my reviews, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. Until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.